the yellow dog. At 34 letters, it's the longest made up word from our good old child conflict, Mary Poppins. But are there really words this long in the English dictionary? I'm here to prove that our vocabulary is not just made up of simple English words, like many of you and I speak on a daily basis. The longest real word in the English dictionary is the mono ultramicroscopic silicovolcaniosis. What a word. At 45 letters, it is the longest real word in the Oxford Dictionary. It is a lung disease which you get from breathing in very fine particles from a volcano. There are lots of arguments on what the longest word in the dictionary is. Many people don't believe that this is a word, as it is a type of disease which is made up all the time. The word the conflict is over is blocker and oxen helifilification. At 29 letters, it is the act of estimating something as worthless. What do you think? All these words, especially pneumonia, ultra, ultra microscopic silicovolcaniosis, have vowels in them. Have you ever thought of words if they don't have vowels? Would they make sense? Well, the longest word in the English dictionary without vowels happens to be twidlings. At 15 letters, Ever heard of that word before? I sure haven't. It was actually made up in the 15th century, meaning the modern English word twin. They replaced the vowel, all the vowels with the letter Y. A more common vowel is word that you and I may, may be used to is rhythm. At six le letters, it doesn't seem that long, but in actual fact, it's longer than many vowelish words, such as the word Y. What about words that mean different things, such as the word abbreviation? At 12 letters, this word describes a shortened word or a phrase. Why does a word, shortened word, need to be long? I think the person who made this up would be having a good laugh watching us use this word today. Finally, the word hippopotamonstrosis cryptiliophobia is a fear of long words. Isn't it funny that a word describing this is actually a long word? Imagine having this phobia and the dog des describing it you would break. So why do we have such big words in our English dictionary? Maybe someone decided it would be a good joke to make people say words like pneumonia, ultramicroscopic, so go and can use this. Or maybe it's necessary to, for words to be 45 letters long. I think I'll stick to my English, simple, my simple English words. How about you?